Developed by Chinese studio Game Science, Black Myth Wukong has garnered a lot of attention since its unveiling back in 2020. After years of unbelievable trailers and gameplay footage, it's now just a couple of months away. Such is the excitement around this title that after emailing the team as soon as we were able to book a slot in for Summer Games Fest playdays, we were told there were no more slots available. Thankfully, the studio was able to accommodate our man Steven, who is over at Summer Games Fest, and he can now say that he has actually played this upcoming action RPG. Hello there everyone, it's Aiden here from Push Square, and yes, this is Steven's preview of Black Myth Wukong, and after about two hours with the game, he thinks this is easily among the most exciting games heading to PS5. Based on the seminal Chinese story Journey to the West, you play as Sun Wukong, a legendary monkey that's a master of both magic and martial arts. We played an early portion of the game in which you explore Black Wind Mountain. Running in Unreal Engine 5, the game looks stunning, with the forest ruins populated by various animal-based demons to fight. Now we would hesitate to call this game a Souls-like, it's more Souls-adjacent with some elements of that action game subgenre, but it is a touch more forgiving. Enemies aside from bosses and mini bosses respawn when you die and you can rest up at specific points within each location. However, you do not lose all of your earned XP when defeated, instead simply losing a small percentage of it. You can pause whenever you like too, and you can upgrade yourself in the skill tree from the menu. The environment design feels far more linear here as well, with some fairly wide spaces to explore, but no signs of locations wrapping back onto themselves. In terms of difficulty, we'd say it still provides a very stern challenge, but Wukong's abilities give you a significant leg up. Hitting enemies with your basic combo builds up well, which can be spent using a heavy attack. If you land the hit, you'll gain back a small bit of your health. Dodging is your main source of defence with no block or parry in the demo. We had access to two of Wukong's three stances. Smash feels like the balanced all-rounder type stance that will serve you well with its simple combo and basic heavy slam attack. The other stance, Pillar, changes your main combo a little but its big difference is the heavy. Wukong will climb to the top of his staff and it'll grow in size over time, getting you out of harm's way before you release it with a powerful smash. Both feel pretty good to use, with the pillar stances heavy being particularly satisfying to land. Now it isn't just melee strikes at your disposal though, we quickly gain access to a spell called Immobilize, which, as the name suggests, freezes your enemy temporarily. This allows you to smack them around for a few precious seconds before they're freed, which is an extremely handy tool to use in boss fights. Magic attacks like this one restore over time, meaning you can't cheese fights with endless immobilized castings. Speaking of bosses though, the demo includes several. Some are large, intimidating beasts, while others are formidable human warriors. Guanxi is of the latter type, and upon defeating him, you gain a powerful transformation spell, allowing Wukong to temporarily turn into the warrior and utilise his weapons and abilities. It seems this transformation feature will be a big part of Black Myth, and it feels like a natural part of the already solid combat. The cooldown on this is longer than for spells like Immobilize, but it's a great power trip that can melt enemy health bars if you use Use it right. Our favourite boss that we fought is a highly aggressive giant wolf-like demon, which of course wasn't actually included in the b-roll we were sent here today, so you're just going to have to imagine a big scary wolf-like demon creature. This feels like a real test of all the game's systems, chipping away with the staff, hitting with heavy attacks when the time is right, freezing the boss with magic, and transforming into Guan Chi for some bigger punishment. All the bosses we sampled feel fraught and dangerous, though comfortably surmountable once you learn their patterns. As with all the action games of this ilk, it feels brilliant when you get into the groove. Aside from fighting bosses and regular enemy mobs, we visit numerous shrines at which you can rest and adjust which abilities you have equipped and partake in a peaceful meditation sequence that offers a break from the action. This is where the gorgeous visuals really came into view, with the camera cutting to various picturesque shots of the environment. The game also ran wonderfully through our playtime, but we should say that we were playing on a PC. The PS5 version will hopefully be able to keep up, but the jury's still out on that front. We concluded our demo butting heads against a very tough opponent, getting within a couple of hits of defeating them, 
but never quite managing the win. If we just had 10 minutes more, they'd have been dead, damn it. Black Myth Wukong has the same addictive pull of all your favourite action RPGs. Through repeated attempts, you'll gradually learn how to deal with each boss, and putting it all into action and finally coming up victorious is just as satisfying here as ever. Though we didn't quite finish the hands-on demo, we thoroughly enjoyed our time. If the PS5 version is just as slick and performs just as well, Black Myth Wukong could well become a 2024 favourite for many. Thank you everyone for checking out our preview of Black Myth Wukong. Let us know what you're thinking of the game down in the comments below. Is this going to be a day one purchase for you when it launches later this year? Remember when you're down there though to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more PlayStation video content just like this. But anyway, until next time, I've been Aiden and this has been Push Square.